Okay, Alistair Campbell, we are here at the Royal Institute. You've just been interviewing Sir Dave Brailsford. I know you are impressed with a number of coaches. How highly do you rate Sir Dave Brailsford and why? Oh, I think he's right up there. I think to take British cycling as he did from also runs on the world stage to being amongst the best of the world, that was pretty impressive, good enough. Uh, we saw the film tonight of all the different Olympic medals that they, they won. And then to, to set the ambition of winning the Tour de France with a British rider and doing it clean in five years, he did it in three, then he did it again, then he did it again, with, uh, first with Bradley Wiggins and then with Chris Froome. And of course, you know, he's, he's also, as I was saying in the introduction tonight, that the success has actually helped charities like Bloodwise develop a really, really big cycling operation. So the people that came tonight, they paid money to the charity to listen and think about cycling. It's fantastic. Now, you're a keen cyclist. Um, maybe one of the points that wasn't really highlighted tonight, because everybody wants to know about Bradley Wiggins and Chris Froome and gold medals, but actually he's transformed sort of the, the public mentality as well. There's a lot of cyclists. I'd go as far as saying he has improved the health of the nation. Is that a fair comment? Definitely. I mean, I, th- I think that cycling uh, is pr- possible. I think people say triathlon is the fastest growing sport. That's part of it. But I think in terms of just participation, people actually getting out there. Some of it, to be honest, is because the whole kind of, you know, post-crash austerity and all that. I think a lot of people are using it on the bike rather than driving and other forms of transport. But I do think that we, we're becoming fast becoming one of the cycling nations of the world and I think it's great and I think he's played a big part in that. And it's extraordinary if you, you and I had sat down here 15 years ago and said we're going to be talking about British cycling dominating the sport in the Vodafone and on the roads, we would have laughed. No and also even you know from the charity from Bloodwise, if you'd have thought 15 years ago, do you know what we'll get, that, we'll get a bloke who runs British cycling and we'll fill a theatre like this you know with people who pay good money to the charity to hear him, you know, it's become it's become a huge thing. It's fantastic. Okay, thank you. Thank you.